right now here on v -Sin. Now back to Sin City and my guys in the desert with the legend Brent Musburger. Live on the Vegas Stats and Information Network, Sirius XM Channel 204 and v .com. Well, uh, uh, Benny and uh, Kenny, as you know, we've got John the Barber. And we also introduced Chris the Bartender this week. And now I've got Buck the Professor. Okay. <laughs> so this gentleman's been sitting over here for a week, a couple weeks, and... Uh, I was introduced to him by Bill Aidy, our CEO, and he said, you know, it's one of my teachers from Northwestern. I said, yeah, Wildcat, good to see you. Uh, but I found out that uh, Mr. Buck Ryan is more than that, the director of the Citizen Kentucky Project at the University of Kentucky's Scripps Howard First Amendment Center. And uh, of course, I mentioned that he's a tenured professor and he was at Northwestern University when Mr. Aidy was there. So, um, Mr. Ryan, uh, welcome, welcome, my friend, to VSIN. Thank you, Brent. Now, uh, don't forget my most important credential, uh, VSIN Summer Intern 2018. <laughs> I, I applied, you know, to Bill Aidy, my former student, for the job to learn something new about sports betting journalism. Ah. And I'm as nervous as I was as a kid in the big time in 1977 as an intern at the Buffalo New York Evening News. Well, you worked for the Buffalo Evening Indeed News? Indeed I did, and now I'm, now I'm an intern again after all these years. <laughs> well, wow. listen, Buffalo, you gotta be a if, Bills fan, right? Uh, I'm not only a Bills fan, but uh, I used to walk to school with John Murphy, the voice of sure. the Buffalo Bills. Sure. Wow. And in fall, we were both inducted into our high school hall of fame. Now, I know you're a Hall of Famer out of Montana. Yes. Uh, DeSales Catholic High School, Lockport, New York, Hall of Famer with John Murphy, the voice of the Buffalo Bills. Wow. You know, Vinny, we I'm can a... find out what's up with Shady McCoy. We, we, we right. be... <laughs> Do we have the latest? <laughs> I have to make an adjustment on these Bills Come futures, on. Buck. The, the, only, Buck. the only thing I have to say is the Shady story is Shady, and these Bills fans, they think OJ's innocent. So I'm just telling you, you know, like wow. you aren't going to get a straight story out of Buffalo. Uh, uh, you got to go to other sources. Wow. Okay, now, uh, so you've been here, you've been listening and studying what goes on. What do you make of VEASAN and uh, what we're trying to do here, Buck? I, I think VEASAN is the most sophisticated sucker bet prevention program I've ever seen. Uh, it's a real value, I, I think, uh, for journalism professors. Because after that uh, May 4th revolution with the Supreme Court decision, there's not a journalism school in the country that's going to be relevant without a sports betting journalism course. And so that's why I'm here to learn from the best. Interesting, wow. interesting Buck, because that's, I agree with that. And I've had a lot of people ask me about it because you can't just walk in cold without no. studying and knowing something about it. Well, Brent, and this is uh, part of, the, you know, one of the big reasons why VSIN was born, and to hear uh, Buck say that uh, he's enjoyed uh, and, and he's garnered something from it and he's going to carry something forward, uh, that's important. But uh, I've got to add, because obviously all roads lead to the South Point and the VSIN studio, Buck, so a fellow a native New Yorker, right, and, uh, and, and ties to Kentucky, because my wife is from Kentucky, so it's amazing we haven't crossed paths sooner. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you have any uh, sports uh, betting uh, uh, memories from, uh, you, you have to have had some memories, between Buffalo, New York, and Kentucky? Yeah. Well, uh, I was born in Madison Avenue Hospital in 1956, and my dad was a big better on boxing. And so uh, his favorite fighter and his surest bet was Willie Pep. Oh, what a The will of the wisp. Yeah, a, uh, a featherweight champ. Mm -hmm. And so he'd go to Madison Square Garden and he'd watch the fights and then he'd come out and he would pick up one of the, you know, six, seven, eight daily newspapers and read, <laughs> read about the fight he just saw on the way home in the subway. So news that's that quick and that accurate with analysis, uh, that's what I think VEASAN is now. Mm -hmm. Interesting you mentioned, I think he was from Connecticut, if I'm not mistaken. 
And I, I got to meet Willie Pep when I was at Caesar's Palace, and he told me one time he actually made a bet with his corner. He was dominating a fight, and Brian, our producer, Brian Rogers can look this up. He was dominating a fight one time so much that he told his corner, I'm going to go out and win this round without throwing a punch. And on the scorecards, he did. Wow. Just, you reminded me of that story. Really? Yeah. yeah. Outstanding. So take me to your days at Medill oh. and, uh, and Evanston. Evanston was still a dry city, so you had to go down and make your way to Wrigley Field like I did occasionally, too. Oh, you better believe it. Uh, <laughs> I remember Brent putting a penny in a parking meter in Evanston, mm -hmm. so that's how far I back I, I go there. But... So I would uh, teach by day at uh, Northwestern's Medill School of Journalism and then go to work at night at Chicago Tribune, where I worked as an editor. Got it. And I'd spend as much time as I could in Wrigley Field, of course. And in those days, now this is the 80s, no lights, all day games, right? Uh, I could walk up and get a bleacher ticket for $5. And when I go to the bleachers, Kenny, you'll love this. Okay, there were guys with pennies betting every pitch. So this idea of in-game betting is something <laughs> new. I'm just telling you. You know, I, I mean, it's, it's been around for a long time. The only thing new is you got to get this Paddy Power app that uh, that Brent's been talking about. You know, to be able to deliver on it. Like, uh, 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 so you knew also Benny Baldwin when you were going one of, my, one of my favorite professors in there. Uh, first time I met uh, Ben Baldwin, I was in deep trouble. Uh, I, I got called in at the last minute to teach a summer editing class. And I walk in on the first day and I tell the students there's no textbook. Unfortunately, the guy who set up the class required a textbook, so the students bought the textbook. So it was an emergency faculty meeting. And I walk in and Ben Baldwin, he sees the young guy is stuck and embarrassed by this, you know. But he also saw that the textbook was written by an author who was deceased. So he delivered the line that saved me. He said to the faculty, look what happens when you write an unnecessary textbook. You die. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. Then he said, let's okay. just give the kids their money back for the book and move on. <laughs> and I was off the hook. Because when Ben, when ben, uh, Baldwin. Uh, sp ben, ben yeah. Baldwin spoke, uh, people listened. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, so, Buck, uh, does this mean you're going to go back to Kentucky and uh, establish a, a professorship back there in, uh, in sports gambling? Uh, as soon as I get the endowment from Bill uh, oh, as the VEASAN <laughs> chair, you know, in sports betting journalism, then right. maybe, maybe that will happen. All right. Buck Ryan over there, thanks for dropping by. My pleasure. You're welcome here anytime. Bill Ady's over there. He's got the checkbook ready. We're back to finish it up. VEASAN.com, Sirius XM 204. It's hey, My Guys in the Desert with Brent Musburger, only on the Vegas Stats and Information Network. Keep up to date with everything in the world of sports gaming by going online at vsin.com.